Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. This week's river fly is going to be a fairly heavy bug. And uh, the hooking device is a Hanak Jig Superb 450 barbless hook. It's at size 14. And I've coupled that with the Hanak slotted tungsten bead and it's a 3.5 millimeter. I quite like uh, the Jig Superb, it takes quite big beads, so you can add quite a lot of weight to your fly. The thread I'm going to be using is the Fish On Ultimate Tine Silk, and this is the, the black one. And first thing I'm going to do is just add a spot of super glue to the shank of the hook. And as I've explained in other videos, the reason I do this is it just helps the Ultimate Tine Silk, silk bed down onto the fly. So once I've got that on, I'm just going to get a few wraps in behind the bead to lock that into place. Ah, it's misbehaving. I'll just go back up. Another few wraps. And then I'll take it back down. Okay, so I've got the bead sitting where I want it, providing it doesn't jump back again. I'm going to take that away. Now for the tail of this fly, I'm going to use some Coq de Leon. Uh, I've got I've got one I've been using here, and I'm going to take quite a healthy clump of that, maybe four or five feathers. It's the um, the strands are really really thin, and I really like the colours on this one in particular. So I'm going to catch that in a couple of holding turns, and then I can just adjust my length. And I want the length to be about a centimetre. That's looking okay. So once I've got it where I want it, I can lock that in place. Remove my waist. And if I wanted the tail to splay out more, I can always come around the back here, catch in just a turn underneath the feathers like so. And I'm going to come all the way up to the front again. So for the um, for the rib of this fly, I'm going to use some soft wire. This is the 7 gram. It's just a copper wire. It's fairly heavy um, because I want it to show up through the dressing. So I'm going to slip that into the slot and then catch it all the way up the body like so. And for the body of this fly, I'm going to use uh, Nature Spirits, it's hair mask dubbing, and this is the uh, the golden brown, 23 alpha, if you want to get um, really specific. But it's a nice, it's a light brown dubbing. Very, um, very like a lot of the aquatic life you see swimming around. That's why I like it, and it's got quite a bit of shimmer in it as well. Ah, so I'm just going to dub that on fairly tightly, because I can always uh, pull out the fibres later on with my dubbing brush. And once I've caught that in, I can just start coming up the body of the fly all the way up to the thorax, just got a wee bit too much dub in there, so I'm just going to remove that, tighten up on the rest, like so. Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. Uh, I'm going to take my wire rib and go the opposite way to the body material, and all the way up to the thorax area, just in behind the bead, and I'm going to catch that with my silk, two or three turns, and then lock it into place. Keeping tension on the thread, simply twist away the wire. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. Now, I'm just going to put another couple of turns in here to make sure that's locked down. Because at this point, I want to just come in with my dubbing brush and just rough up the body a little. So, 
it's all very straightforward so far. But what I want to do with this fly is add a, a CDC cloak. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, some people would just take a, a CDC feather. Uh, I'm using a brown one here to, to match the sort of theme of the fly, if you like. Now, this is a, from Troutline. And what do they call it? Oh, it's just brown. Well, that's nice. They've just called it brown, which it is. Now, you'll notice I've only got half the CDC feather trimmed here. And I've actually put that in my clip. So I've got the CDC feather in my clip. And I'm just going to open up my tang silk with my bodkin needle. So just come in behind the thread, flattens out the, the thread, and then you can get your needle and split the thread. You can make a dubbing loop, but it's not it's not necessary. This is quicker and uh, it keeps it nice and thin. So I'll slip in my CDC, like so. Then I'm going to spin it up just to make sure it's secure. Once I'm happy it's there, I can bring that in. And this kind of creates a thorax. But as well as that, when the fly's in the water, it does make a little cloak around it. And uh, you'll see that later on. So I'm not quite finished. So I've got this, uh, it's a fairly natural looking bug, but I want to add just something to give it a little bit of a lift. And I'm going to do that with a collar. So uh, I'm, I'm going to use one of the hen's uh, micro dubs here. And there's various colours. Um, I've, I've got, my favourite's a 17. I think that's a very effective one. But the, the sort of peach one as well, it's it's much more subtle. You don't need very much of it. You can see I've only taken a tiny little bit off with my thumb and forefinger. Uh, I'm just going to catch that onto my thread. Like so. Now before I... Uh, run that round, I'm just going to use a bit of super glue and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add some super glue at the bottom of my run, sweep everything back with my thumb and forefinger in my left hand. Don't worry if you've got the odd fibre, it's not, uh, it's not going to ruin your day. Just try and keep everything out of the way of the super glue and then Bring it right in at the head, lock it into place, and then a half hitch for me, and I can pull that away. If you're clever, you use your whip finish tool. And there we have a small but very weighty nymph, and uh, that'll get down to any fish that are hiding away in little holes or pockets. I hope that was of some use to you. Uh, the main reason for doing this video actually was to show you this, the way to do this cloaking. Um, I've seen other guys, they just put the, um, the CDC on and, and, and that's the job done. But I don't think you quite get the same effect as, as working it like I've just shown you here. Um, and the dubbing loop, although it does work, it's, it, it does thicken up the whole thing and make the fly a lot more bulky than it need be. So that's it. That's your um, river fly for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you. If you want to make them up, that's how to do it.